What is good? I guess this is the real one. I don't know. Is it? Are we? I don't know. You didn't going? like wait for the beat or anything. Yeah. Usually I, you're on it like a. You didn't. Uh, you didn't give me. You didn't say, "Hey, well, this is we're going." So. Uh, there's a there's a there's an intro little thing that it's pretty much some weak fucking pops here. We yeah. Go. Oh, that was a good one. Welcome in. What are we doing here? Some six dumb. seven. I. Uh, my fresh pop is dedicated to Big D. Yeah. See you, buddy. Love you. Hey. Shout out to Big D. All right. So Big D's today, the man. Big D is the man. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna do. Have some fun. Go through something that pretty much means absolutely nothing. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but the draft is uh, upon us. What's so, your favorite? Uh, what's so your favorite landing spot? We're gonna kind of go through the first couple rounds of a draft and and see where we like landing spots of. The skill position players. Uh, I thought we were doing an O line draft. Well, the, uh, that would be way more fun. But decent O lineman um, in this top of this draft. Anyway. Nah. We are <laughs> from all the, <laughs> from all the O line scouting. Yeah, uh, you, you, you guys no don't Penn watch State O lineman. In, in uh, the well, first yes, round. there is Juice Scruggs in the first round. No, not in the first oh, round. Next I mean. year, next year, Olu Fashanu. Write it down. Top fifteen oh, draft pick next year. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The guy from fucking Van so, Wilder. Yeah, write that down. Um, all right, let's get oh, let's get it rolling. Writing it down, not saying write it down. Oh, I would definitely be the guy telling you. I'd be Burt Kreischer telling you to write that down. You know that movie's based off of Burt, right? No. Yes, yes it, it is. is. <laughs> Van Wilder. Yes, yeah. is based off Burt Kreischer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scrap the show. Let's talk more about this. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to kind of go through. It's not going to be like, you pick, you pick, you pick. We're just going to go through e each round and be like, hey, this is where I I think I think somebody should land. We're, we're kind of loosely looking at Dane Brugler's recent uh, mock through the athletic here to kind of give us a little bit of a crutch. I believe um, it came out on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. So Matt just likes his draft because the Falcons aren't taking it. Hell yeah, dude. Easy. <laughs> Running back. He's hot. He's Very not. hot. You got to ease up on the ears. All right. They so, go would have been out of here. Yeah. <laughs> two times already. Yeah. Um, Carolina Panthers, number one, Bryce Young. We could pretty much get that out of the way. And we can we can all skip. Yeah. Are we penciling that in now? Are, are we markering that in now? Seems like it. Why wouldn't yeah. they have already announced it? Yeah. Yeah. Because ah. they want Anthony Richardson. All right. So number two. Yeah, this is what seems it's been weird today. Seems to get weird. Brugler's still got it penciled in a Stroud. A lot of people still have it penciled in a Stroud. And then some people are just way off on the deep end of they're just going to trade it or do something crazy. Or draft Well, them. yeah. There's they're, something they're, about Brady Quinn saying today about something about him ghosting on the Manning Academy or something like that. Or There's a lot that goes into that, but I don't feel like getting into it. But And um, who cares what Brady Quinn says, but Brady Quinn, medicine woman, best name for a fantasy football <laughs> team who ever came up with that. That was some really shit. But they're not going to know how brilliant it was. It's, it's hilarious. That's yeah, pretty low hanging fruit. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's literally the first thing I think of when I hear his name. Is Lady Quinn medicine woman? Yes. You Brady. forgot about that show. I absolutely 100% did not forget about that Any, show. Anyone who's seen the movie Talladega Nights has not forgot about that show. So they're so going to trade the pick if they don't take a quarterback. At two, right? it's, it seems like Levis has gained a little bit of steam here. No the the odds favorite. Uh, for the number two in some betting sites has seemed like maybe shifted a little bit more towards Levis here, which I don't I don't necessarily agree with. For the purpose of this show, I think it's going to be C.J. Stroud one way or another yeah, here. Yeah, I think so too. Um, and I, I think I Stroud would, and Young are going to go one and two. I'd I pencil Stroud in for the second skill position player off the board at I, number two. I'd agree with here, that. Some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Is that what you want to see? No, that's what I think is going to happen. But what do you want? To I mean, see? that's probably what I want to see too. Yeah, that's what fine. I want to see is Anthony Richardson go one one. I want to see someone put their nuts on the table and take the quarterback with the highest ceiling in the draft. So you probably got to take Bryce Young, but the number two, that's where I, I probably would go, Anthony Richardson. It makes sense that the Texans wouldn't want to. I mean, I guess they don't really care about the agent. It's not the agent's fault. It's fucking Deshaun Watson's fault. Well, I don't know how much they want to deal with any of that. So it's a weird situation for sure. It it's, seems like it's it's gotten weirder. I feel like if if you know the Houston Texans can navigate this 
wisely. You can kind of, if you really don't want CJ Stroud, you can come out of here with, you know, a, a decent stack of, of more building. Um, yeah. Anthony Richardson could certainly make some sense for them because they're, you know, they're not in a rush to be good or Levis for know, that right away as well or, too. or Levis if that's who they like. But I, I if you're going to take Levis at two, you got to trade back. Yeah. If you're not going to take Stroud at two, you got to trade back. If, to, but if to you where, wanna, if you want to take Richardson, I'm fine with you taking Richardson yeah. at two. If, if you're just like, hey, fuck it, we're going to take Richardson. We'll play Mills for a year. So you just you, we'll, what, what you try to move back to four. I think so. I think you try to, you know, inner division wise, you try to maybe, but I, I've, you know, you try to get something from the Colts to, to, to move up here and let um, them take their choice of quarterback, we'll take whoever they want. And then we'll, you know, maybe, we, maybe we, maybe they want Hennon Hooker in the next round. There's been a little bit of chatter of that and, and, uh, potentially then you take, they Will can take Anderson. him at 20. Hell, they could take him at 20, right? Then you take Will Anderson at four. Yeah. You know, and, and get your, you know, you get your captain of the defense. Uh, no, they're picking at 12. Uh, yeah, they have, they have four, uh, two and 12. So, um, yeah, so I, I think I'm for all intents and purposes, I'll pencil in Stroud here. I, two, I, one I would agree with that. Safe. Yeah. All right. So next skill position player, I think, is is probably the Colts one way or another. Yeah, I agree with that. Brugler's th- got Richardson going there. Yeah. I think if I'm the Colts, I would probably take Richardson. But it seems like it could be Levis as well. There's an awful lot of Levis talk right now, which makes me think that it's not real, right? Anything going on this week isn't fucking real. So if all of a sudden Stroud's falling and Levis is rising, I'm not buying it. Everything's just, it's just smokescreen season. It's just fucking lies. It's lies. Lies, lies. So I would like Richardson to go to the Colts. I think that's, let's do it. All right, so we'll pension Richardson as the third skill position player, third quarterback off for four picks in, and all the quarterbacks are essentially gone because I don't think anybody likes Will Levis. Mm-mm. I don't. The problem with I think Levis could be, I think in some super flex draft if he falls to maybe like in this draft he does to eleven to can to Tennessee, I think there's going to be some some people that are just like oh well he didn't go top three or four so we're just going to ignore him similar to like the people did with Daniel Jones. In super flex drafts, if a couple years ago, if the Titans decide that they want Will Levis, then I think I'm a little bit back in on Will Levis because so, I like what the Titans have going on. But but but, but so what? Are the, what about the Colts? Like, I guess it's tough to say with the Colts because they have a new head coach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't trust the Colts as much as I, I trust. I, I like the Mike idea. Rabel. I like the idea of the Colts and their head coach being able to develop a quarterback into a good starter who is maybe. Not the most like we just saw him really help bring along Jalen Hurts, and he was with Herbert before that. He's got some. Who you are you know, talking about? Uh, Steichen. Sh- yeah, Shane Steichen. He's he's had some time with all those quarterbacks, so I think Anthony yeah. Richardson would be a good fit for him. He just came from a place, and they did it kind of in in a way where they built it around Jalen for you know at first they came in trying to do one thing, and then they switched it up, and then it they kind of got a little bit more. Hey, let's just do what we what we do best here. We're gonna run yeah. and, and and play defense and, and take it easy. And then this year they they took it to a whole nother level. They, yeah. they, you know. So I think also Hertz took took the next step too as well. Well, sure. And and Hertz is gonna work really hard and a really smart guy. And I think that's yeah. kind of what you get out of Coach's Anthony son. Richardson as well. You get a guy who is apparently really smart and a hard worker. So yeah. I think if you can get those kind of attributes, um, I think I think that's a nice landing spot for for Anthony Richardson. Do we see the Raiders at all as a possibility of taking a quarterback? I could, you know. 100%. The Patriots bringing in Levis this week. Yeah, that was interesting. I saw that. I think that was is, today, actually. Is, is interesting. So Levis at seven could be certainly a, a possibility for the Raiders. I think I think the Seahawks, and I think right here in that stretch then, five, six, seven, uh, with with Seahawks, Lions, Raiders, you have a, a, any of those guys are interested in a quarterback, right? I don't think... I think the Lions are happy with Goff. I think if Anthony Richardson's around, I think you, you, you start saying, hey, we could we could potentially you could. take Anthony I th- Richardson I, I don't here. hate that. Um, I'm a big Goff guy, but... I, mean, I, I, I like Goff, too, and I, you know... I, yeah, I mean... I just don't think Goff's going to bring them... I don't think Goff's going to elevate a team. I think he's going to... He could, he could help get a team to... 80 to 90 percent of what it could be but he's not gonna he's not gonna make players better he's gonna let players be he can he can run a system so when i was looking at teams and who needs a quarterback who needs a running back who needs a wide receiver and then like immediately and then who needs one next year yeah right 
like you said, Casey, any of those three pe- teams could definitely take a quarterback, and you even throw though they don't necessarily need one. If they like a guy enough, right, yeah. they'll take him because you, you – they're basically like free picks, not the Colts, right? They're definitely going to take one, but the, yeah. but 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 Seattle and Detroit, those are almost like bonus high up opportunities to take a well, free could, swing at a quarterback. Well, you could throw five, six, seven, and eight in there. Sure. Yeah, you could throw Atlanta Falcons, in there. Falcons. Yeah. The fact that they've been pretty tight lipped about any sort of quarterback thing could could certainly tell you that maybe they are got you know guarding their hand here and saying hey if we can if we can get one we will and 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 then swoop in and maybe even trade up yeah to get one of these guys i don't think that's out of the question yeah i could see them getting into the trey lance sweepstakes as well too i think i think levis skips five six seven you think if he skips those do you think he gets do you think the atlanta falcons want levis i mean i guess he makes sense for that system to be able to run the ball as a mobile quarterback it's going to be so weird. It's either like all four of them are going to go right off the rip with trades. Someone's going to trade with the Cardinals to come up at three and grab one of them. Yeah. Two of them are gone. Yeah. And then the Colts are going to take the other one or maybe the Colts move up one spot. They're probably all gone one through four. And I don't know who it's going to be. Probably those top three of the four. And then someone's trading with Arizona to get the other one. Yeah. I mean, unless unless Levis falls all the way down, like that's why the Patriots brought him in. And like maybe he slides. Maybe nobody wants him. Yeah. And we need to we need to take a look at him because we could, you know, fuck around. Yeah. So it's either like two of them are going to slide or they're all four about to go. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. It would be. Nothing's cr- really going to change for me. So the, in this particular mock, regardless, Levis slides past the Atlanta Falcons here. Goes um, all the way does, to the Titans. Does, does go to the Titans. So really, I think the next decisions are here that that pop up from eight. Probably not nine, but 10 and then 11 for me, actually, is Levis and Bijan. I think Atlanta could be interesting. I think they're they're the odds on favorite. But for both of those guys, they could be. Philly has also been rumored to Bijan. Sure. And then I actually think if for some reason Levis is gone, I actually kind of don't hate the Titans taking Bijan and being like, hey, Derrick Henry's almost 30. Yeah. This is our identity. It's this the is same thing they doing. did when they this had DeMarco. How we've been winning. They did the same thing when they had DeMarco there. They they, they had DeMarco and they Henry took Henry. Had to wait. How long have we got to wait on Henry? Yeah. It was only a year, but probably why he's still going. Yeah. So, I, you know, I, I, I think that's pretty interesting. I don't know if the Titans pass on Will Levis if he's there if, and Bijan's there, but it. To me, that would make some sense if somebody if there's if there's a trade up and all the quarterbacks are gone and maybe Tennessee's one of those teams that trades up and gets Will Levis and they're yeah. like, hey, we want to we want a quarterback in waiting here and we want to go, you know, we'll have a year with Tannehill, we'll have a year with and you can find a running back, of course, but like it would it would to me the Titans make a whole lot of sense for Bijan Robinson as well. Yeah, I um, think so too. Somebody's got to go up to to three to get the quarterback. So what do you guys think the Falcons are doing? Ah. Uh, is that the Bijan spot? I, I know you don't want it to be. I don't want it to be. I think it could be. Is that where you want Bijan to go? I, I think it's. I think it's. I think it's either eight, eight and eleven are the same system basically. Eight, eight, ten, and eleven. I think are the Bijan spots. But do you really want him to go to Philly? I mean, I guess. I, I, I guess they take him at ten. They're gonna have. They're, would, they're, they're, they're gonna give him. They're gonna give him. You would have to think so, but I. It's a, still a serious role. Still doesn't feel great, especially you know, the Russian quarterback. Taking yeah. touchdowns. Yeah. He's there for a long time now. I don't know how much check down you get with, with the rushing quarterback because he's going to rush instead of check it down a whole lot. So that definitely hampers some of your fun with Bijan. I mean, he's going to be if, – if they, if they ride him like a like a potential workhorse in Philly, then it's, that, it doesn't matter. It's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're not going to draft a running back at 10 and then not use him like the 10th overall pick. You wouldn't think so. But um, So I'm, I'm going to say that – the I'm 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 gonna say Atlanta Falcons take Bijan and then I'm gonna say on I think the I think the Titans would be my my kind of wild card for Bijan. Yeah, I can't really disagree with. Yeah, I mean that. I don't hate him as as uh, from a Bijan perspective, I wouldn't hate him at all in Atlanta. Any you guys got anything else through this spot here? From you think the scoring opportunities in Philadelphia, just the just the offensive movement in general would be better than going to Atlanta where. You know, they weren't – yes, they were in every game and they were competitive and the defense is good, and but they were all low-scoring-ass games. Yeah, I don't care. Well, yeah, they're, because they're just controlling the clock. Right, I don't care. They're going to – he's going to get so, – if Bijan goes to – like, Atlanta 
and Tennessee are the like to me are two glowing red spots where I am fucking stoked if Bijan goes there. The amount of work that he's gonna get is would be insane. Like, we well, could get in Philly as well too because they're gonna yes, because they're gonna yes. be ahead. They're gonna be ahead in those games. He he could. It just scares me a little bit more because of the the quarterback and because they haven't shown really a willingness to necessarily do that. But they also um, haven't made that kind have, of investment they either. You're right. You're I mean, right. they drafted Miles in the second, but. Right, but and that was a different. Perennially, would get banged up and miss a, games, and yeah. not, you know, and so I could see why they kind of regime would jerk sure. other players in as well. Yeah, uh, I, you know, I don't know. I don't think the Eagles are going to take them. I think, I think it'll probably be Atlanta and, or Tennessee. I don't see the team who took them in this mock draft taking them. That seems like a luxury pick that that team really can't afford to make. Um, who did Brugler have? Have the Washington? Or the, uh, yeah, I was going to say the the, uh, the Commanders. Um. I don't. I don't want Bijan in New England, and I certainly don't want him in uh, the Commanders. There. Yeah. So I, I think Bijan goes. He probably doesn't fall to sixteen. High. He and could. I, and I'm not saying he, he certainly could. He certainly. I th- wholeheartedly believe he could. He, he really, really could. Um, but you know, I saw Scott Connor and somebody else talking about this today. Like, uh, basically saying like, really, like I know the running back gets a lot of heat, but like. It's really not the worst situation. Like you could basically tie a running back up for seven years if he's good for like forty one million dollars. Yeah. Like, I mean, could the Texans take him at twelve? They certainly could. I mean, the only thing, obviously, it's a different scheme and a different, or it's a different uh, staff. But I mean, that that where where D'Amico and that staff is coming from have really survived off of later round. So has Nick Casario um, too, right? Coming from the Patriots. Yeah, but Nick, the rumor is Nick Casario might be out after the draft. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because he wasn't involved in the hiring of D'Amico at all. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Um, He's like, they tried for years to get him away from the Patriots, and they finally got him. And Yeah. Kind of let this man cook. All right, so what are you guys thinking here? Everybody, I, I, give, me, I your, give see, me your thoughts on that. I could see Bijan sliding a little bit. I mean, I don't know what his floor is. I mean... It's got to be Washington. His floor? No, I don't think so. I think his absolute floor is the Cowboys. Is the Cowboys at twenty? I was gonna say the Cowboys at twenty six. I don't think he makes it past the Chargers if he go, ends up in the Chargers. I could see Minnesota taking him too if he's there at twenty three as well too, and just say bye, Dalvin. I would. I would also put the Bucks in there, but I like he's got a, a lineman, O lineman in there, which they they probably could use the O lineman yeah, help. Yeah. So when Bucks I really in, don't want to see him in Buffalo unless Buff. You no know thanks. what I mean. But they also said they weren't talk about running Allen less, but they I feel like they say that every year. Yeah, sure. I don't think Bijan gets it that far. He ain't making <laughs> it down to twenty six. I think Bijan's Dallas. in the top twelve, thirteen. Yeah. The other one I thought about that would be kind of fun was if you know not not for Saquon it wouldn't be fun because he wants his money, but it would be awesome if the Giants were just like. Bijan fell and they were like, "Fuck it, we're just gonna take Bijan. We're gonna let Saquon go." You can't. I mean, they he, can't let him go now. Well, has he not signed his tender? He hasn't he's signed his tender out. yet. And they don't know if he's. I don't. Show I don't up. know if they can rescind his yeah, tender. I don't, at this I, point. I don't. I don't know either. I just. I thought that was a fun. That would be right. fun. Um. So I think the next skill position player off the put board, them both out there to save time. Oh my gosh! If we have Levis basically going to, yeah. um, actually, well, I, I I'm, I'm going to say Levis hasn't gone yet. I'm going to say the Falcons. I don't think Levis pa- makes it past the Titans. I'm going to say the Falcons take Bijan. I'm going to say the Titans take Levis. There's going to be four straight quarterbacks go off the board. I don't I think there's off a, the rip. I think there's a non-0% chance that happens. I think it's better than I think it's more likely to happen than not. I don't think I agree with that. I, I think Le- Levis could slip down a little. But we shall I think see. Richardson could slip down a little too. Yes, he certainly could. He certainly could. Uh, I think 12 I think the Houston Texans take JSN. I think that makes a lot of sense for them. Pair them up. That would be awesome. I don't know that they're going to have Stroud. They might have something. They might have a different quarterback. They, hell, they could have we Lamar. Just gave him Stroud. Well, we just said somebody at two's taking him. It might be a trade. Might be. <clears throat> yeah. Might be uh, not. So didn't know that was the caveat. Well, I, I just said somebody at two. Uh, I, I know. It just okay. makes a lot All of right. sense. I'm All thinking right. they take a quarterback at two. Yeah. Who's the next skill position player off the board after JSN? Uh, maybe a tight end at 15. I think that's a possibility. To the Packers? Yeah. Okay. I don't hate a tight end to the Commanders at 16 either. Like he's Brugler's got... I don't want uh, anyone to go to the Commanders. 
He's got the North the the uh, Peter uh, Skaronsky uh, going to the Green Bay Packers here. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yes, I agree. I think you could get Kincaid or Mayer here, and then I think you could get Kincaid or Mayer. So Kincaid is oh. the next skill position player off the board in in Brugler's draft with at twenty one to the Charges. I could see I could see the Lions taking a tight end as well too. Yep, I've seen them mock for sure to a tight end. Pat's taking Those, Broderick Jones at fourteen. That's an offensive lineman, correct? Right. Yeah. The tight ends worth top fifteen pick here. I think they get pushed up a little. I I think they could go either way. I think there's a there's definitely depth at tight end, but um, I think there's a clear top two, um, in my mind. But so Green Bay has fifteen. And Detroit has eighteen. Yeah, Chargers could definitely use one. Oh, for sure. I think I think the tight ends. I I don't I I foresee at least two tight ends going. I think Green Bay's in the market. The Lions are in the market. Obviously, the Chargers, and then obviously Dallas. Would, would Green Bay really do that? They don't take skill position. They like they don't. They don't do that, right? I mean, I don't know. I can't remember the last tight end. Who knows Green what Bay Gunter Kunst is going to do? Green Bay drafted. So I would slide one more for the Patriots that they could certainly could take a tackle here, but I could see them taking Addison or Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers being from that kind of region up there. Right yeah. there. They have it a little, they know a little bit about him. Yeah, or even so, if JSN's available, they could, he was, I think sure, he'd be sure. right there. I, I, I do too, but I think I think he's off the board already. So I'm, yeah. I, I, could throw, yeah. I could throw Addison or Zay in the New England system. And yes, I know they have Juju, but. I mean, it seems like, you know, either one of those guys could fit yeah. into what New England does. So I'll take... Uh, I'll that means that he's not going to be good, though. They're not going to draft may, Maybe not. So early that's maybe wide not receivers. Great. I'd like them to not take a skill position player here. Well, I think they're. I think Zay and Addison are a bit different than the, than the wide receivers they've taken in the past because yeah. they can actually separate. I'm going to pencil Addison into New England. And okay. then I'm going to skip the Packers, and I'm going to skip the Commanders here. Okay. Um, Steelers are taking the off the one uh, def- offensive or defensive lineman guaranteed. That's yeah. And then I'll, today on the first draft podcast or whatever, whatever it was, the one with Kuiper and McShay. Kuiper and McShay. McShay yeah, had draft. Zay Flowers going to Pittsburgh, or maybe Kuiper. Kuiper did. Why? I, I don't know, but I did just see that that uh, Mike Tomlin's son goes to BC, so he's probably spent some extra time. I did see that. There, that, that he region. had that dance. He was doing um, that dance. So he that is a that. little interesting, and I, I don't know that I would love that for my, for my Zay, not or for your Deontay, or for my Deontay, really for anybody. There. I don't, I don't, I don't see how Great I don't, for, I don't see how they can, but they, yeah, they might. They have so many other needs that I just don't right. see that as I don't, I, I don't understand that. I you know what I'll pencil Kincaid into the Commanders. I'll go Kincaid. Who do you got? Who 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 would you guys have as your tight end one? I'm taking Mayer still. Okay. In fantasy, for fantasy purposes. Are you, what are you saying? That's Kincaid for me. Like I'm saying fantasy. For you for saying fantasy? Are you saying fantasy or for the draft? For fantasy purposes. Um, uh, gotta go Kincaid. It's probably a coin flip for me. I can see the coin flip. I do have the slight edge to Kincaid because of his ability to. You gotta ability mitigate to a little, this. a little bit of that with a back injury. That seems yeah. like he's all right. I yeah, I'm not over. I know nobody about that. likes Mayer right now. I don't dislike. I, no, I don't dislike Mayer at all. His fucking RAS score and there's fucking percentages. It's low. And this it is low. You know, Forty. It's like, all right, man. Like, I get it. It's he fine. He blocks a lot. Case. Yeah. Well, he's good at playing tight end. I don't know. That's, but is he? That's like a but weird, is he too good? Caveat. But is he too good at blocking? I mean, so I, I, I'm going to I'm going to let the Detroit Lions pass. I'm going to let the Buccaneers pass. When you were making the whole 10 yards, did you ever think it might be too good? So th- <laughs> this has Seattle taking JSN way down here at 20. I don't think JSN lasts. Uh, uh, no, uh, I don't think so either. Also, Great. I would be fucking miserable if they took JSN. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, Lockett's Lockett's old. He's sure. talking about from a from a from a personal perspective. Oh, because he yeah. hates the Seahawks. Right. I forget also, I that. just don't love it right off the rip of JSN going to the Seattle. There's other places that I want JSN to go, and it's not there. Um, so, look at the Seahawks. Good team. Two picks in the top twenty. Just crushing Pete Carroll over there. Just, just chewing gum, <laughs> chewing gum and clapping hands. So, I'll, dapping, I'll, <clears throat> taking his shirt off. <laughs> Y'all saw that? That the DK Arizona clip? Cardinals. Uh, 
the new uh, the new oh, coach. Oh, that was so weird. I couldn't even watch <laughs> the whole thing. It was hella creepy. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Was, shot, uh, shot. You can run fast. That was a while. It was like, weird. That hell? was a while ago. <laughs> that was so Somebody shared that in the group. It. I'm like, yeah. I didn't even watch the whole thing. I'm like, I'm just. That was awkward as shit. Yeah. Um. All right. Anybody shots, any, anybody shots, got any other shots they want to they, they want to pencil in here or I'll just keep keep scrolling right down. No, Go I on. think Seattle with a wide receiver with a slot wide receiver could make sense too. So you, you think Seattle could t- could be at 20 could be one of the next yeah uh, spots for a receiver. I I I do I do agree. I do declare right, Where's so you, Tyler so Lockett's contract situation? You think you could here. pencil Zay Flowers or Addison? I'm taking I'm putting Addison in the New England Patriots uniform. Okay. And you, so you're thinking Addison or Zay? To, yeah. You haven't put another receiver on the board yet. Yeah. I, I, no, I'm agreeing with you. One. One there? Yeah. So then you would put maybe Zay to the Seattle Seahawks? Yeah. Or Addison to the Seattle Seahawks? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking that Minnesota's hoping that one of those guys fall. All right. Ha, all right. So the, then do you do you got any foresights there, Jay Wynn, before we kind of keep it moving here? Did you say for, for what? Foreskins. I was just trying to look up fucking Tyler Lockett's contract. It doesn't matter. He's old. The spot track uh, is 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 not. You got to use over the cap. That's the problem. Responding. It's uh, being tapped right now. No, I mean I think I'm right there with with you guys. Uh, don't Tampa Bay. I mean, do they re- do they lose offensive linemen? Because I know they had a lot of guys hurt last year. But if they had them coming back, it's actually a pretty decent offensive line. It's just everybody. Well, got they hurt. Lo- they lost a couple pieces the previous year. Um, and then I, th- I think they're going to lose some. Uh, they lost Donovan, Donovan Smith. Smith right? they, they cut him. Right. Well, Bijan's so, gone, and they don't need a wide receiver, even though Mike Evans is old. It's not something they need to do right now. I think O-line's the move for them. Yeah. To just, hey, we're going to rebuild. I mean, Lockett's dead cap is pretty high even past. It's $14 million after 2024. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, potential out with 14 dead. Regardless, yes. regardless they, have, they have two receivers. So, yeah. You know. Right, but this is dynasty. We're thinking, you know, it'd be a bummer for whoever went there this year. But yeah, but they're thinking they're thinking we need another receiver. <laughs> yeah, they. I mean, <laughs> I mean, clearly the 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 Dwayne or whatever D Eskridge, whatever he's going by these days. Man, they have two really good receivers. How many teams have two really good receivers? You know, I mean, they have. Who else do they have though? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like Kenny, nothing. Kenny three sticks, baby. Yeah. So. Um, I think I think that's a fine land. I think that's a fine idea of penciling in a receiver there. I'm, I'm skipping the Seahawks for now with a receiver though. All right, so the Chargers would be next on the clock. I think they're taking a skill position player. Uh, agreed. Here. Whether it's a tight end or a wide receiver, yes. Agreed. He's got Kincaid here. Um, I, I maybe like they that. trade up to get Bijan. I can't <sighs> see that happening. <laughs> That'd be um, spicy. It would be spicy. Yeah, uh, fuck the Chargers. I hope they get somebody bad here. I I'm an anti-Chargers fan. Just how they're treating my man Eckler over there. Uh, yeah, they he's been hate, showing up to work on they time, hate, they early, hate every backs. day. They're definitely not drafting one in the first round. Um, they're they're analytically mindset. Just pay my there. man Eckler. Oh, but they have him. They have he does have him taking one, and I would love that. Selection. Well, we could take one. It's just gonna might might Bruiser be like hasn't round taken, two or three. Uh, he hasn't taken oh, one. Oh, oh, don't say it. It's not uh, the later, but oh man, I would love it. He's got Kincaid here, which would make sense if he's still around. I don't hate that at all. Um, but I for our purposes, we have him taking Mayer. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna pencil. I could pencil Mayer in there. I don't, and Mayer would gone. make sense for them as well too, because if they want to use some eleven personnel, they could have Everett and Mayer on the field at the same time, because they need another skill position player. And they just, I believe Everett still signed there through the year. So I'm not sure, but um, I, I don't like the the Mayer fit as much as I like the Kincaid fit. Agreed. For I, them. I, agreed for the long term um, outlook. I agree with that. But I like I. I've, if Mayer could make it to the Cowboys, I think that fits like a fucking glove. Oh, um, I want some Ferguson. Like a glove. I want Ferguson. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they have t- they they just drafted two tight ends last year. True, but, but get one in the first round. Gerald's on contract this year. Um, yeah. Next would be Baltimore Ravens, and I could definitely see them taking another receiver just to try to appease Lamar Jackson. If they're smart, they say, "Hey, Lamar, who the fuck do you want? We'll yeah. take him." And, yeah. and come on back, buddy. Yeah. We're, we're building you. We got Odell. We got Bateman. He's got Man. Zay Flowers going there. Uh, yeah. But, well, we got Zay gone, right? I don't, no, I don't, don't have we Zay don't have Zay gone. Zay gone. I, got, we haven't, I, got, I think oh, Zay. We skipped uh, the Seahawks. I yeah. think Zay could easily go to the Chargers. I don't want Zay to go to the Ravens. 
I think Zay could easily go to the Chargers, and I think Zay could easily go to the Ravens. I think this these next three picks, yep. the Vikings, the Ravens, and the Chargers, all yep. all good yep. options for Agreed. Zay Flowers to, yeah. to I go don't to. Think, I think this is the floor for both Zay and Addison, these three picks. Yeah, I I I could agree with something like or the Giants would then be you know you, you get they get the Jacksonville Jaguars which they obviously don't I don't know. A, I think I think a, the Giants could be in play for could be in play for Quentin Johnson. He they would make a lot of sense as as a different kind of receiver than what they already have there. Sure. Size. But they yeah. they also only they only have a lot of those receivers for a year. Um I mean obviously not Wandell, but you know. Yeah. Hodgins is not small. Hodgins is big, but then Paris and Slayton. I don't know what deal Slayton, Slayton. Signed, but I'm pretty sure they're both. Did they resign him? Yeah. One year cheap. I'm pretty sure they both they brought both of those guys back yeah. on the one year deal, and they brought in Jamison Crowder, um, and they brought in Darren Waller, which I completely which, forgot oh, about. Yeah, on, a right. page, on a Patreon episode, when I said that Daniel <laughs> Daniel Bellinger was a um, was a um, a buy. He's got Addison here, and I like if, if Addison or Flowers is sitting around for the Giants. I think they take him. If not, I think they pass and probably look for a second round receiver. Or you think you think they could go Quentin Johnson? I think they could. I don't. I I don't see it as a slam dunk there. I think uh, the Giants or the or the Bills could be a spot for Johnson. So I'm 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 gonna move Zay Flowers to the Chargers. Okay. Um, and then I, with Mayer still on the board. Okay. And then I am gonna go ahead and. You took you you just sent Zay to the to the Chargers. Yep. Woo. And, I, and the Ravens. Go Chargers. Go Zay Flowers. Ravens, Chargers, I think they though. should take a wide receiver, and I think they should consult with who. They could take, hell, they could take Quentin Johnson. They could take Quentin Johnson, sure. Y'all, y'all think Quentin's still a first-rounder? Uh, he's at the back fringe, end for me. He's end. at the back end here for me. The Minnesota Vikings could take Quentin Johnson. I think I think they're more likely to take Addison or Flowers if available to get a guy mm-hmm. in the slot to replace Thielen. Interesting. They're not going to be there, though, right? We don't I, know. That's what I said. I don't know. I'm, that's what I'm saying. 23 is the floor for both of those guys. I got them off the board, and then I'm going to go New York Giants. I'm going to say New York Giants take Quentin Johnson first round. Okay. Uh, so he's off the board. And then I'm going Kinc- or, uh, Mayor to the Cowboys. You just really want pick. Mayor to the Cowboys. I do. <laughs> I want Mayor to the Cowboys. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Buffalo Bills. Sell nothing. your Ferguson right now. Um, you got a couple of weeks. You got a week. Cincinnati. I paid nothing for him, so yeah, very, like literally, <laughs> literally, l- literally, literally nothing. Cincinnati's probably going to be in the running back sweepstakes, but probably not here. Um, they, could, I mean, probably they could, not here. They could. They could, they, they could think about Gibbs. Could be Gibbs. Could be Gibbs. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna put Gibbs in the second round. Yeah, I think. I think he's likely to go in the second Saints round. Saints could also take Gibbs. Uh, yeah, I don't hate that. Um, and then Eagles and Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs could use their wide receiver, but I don't think they're taking one here. I don't think there's any I'd want to take there. All right, so anybody you got want to add to the first round? So one one running back for me, four wide receivers, and two tight ends in the first round for me. Four QBs. No one, no one. Who's the who's the dark horse here for Hooker? Hooker. Somebody would, trading up. With Hooker would somebody, be a trade. Somebody yeah. trading up like, with the Eagles or the like the Seahawks Chiefs. coming up from thirty seven mm-hmm. here in the next round. Um, or even the Texans coming up from 33. Mm-hmm. The Vikings. The Vikings. Shit, I could even see New Orleans coming up as Tennessee, well, too. Tennessee, Vikings if they don't... Off a good bit away. Well, shit, up, New though. Orleans could just take him at 29. Tennessee, if they don't get Levis, could be a, a trade up from 41. Yeah. Um, so I, I think somehow, way, shape, or form... Even the even the even the Falcons at forty four as well. I think for, Vikings don't have a second round pick. I think so. for all intents and purposes, I'm I would pencil Hooker into the back of the second or the back of the first round just to try to get the fifth year option. Uh, in jet, like in speaking, but for this purpose, I'm just going to move him to the second round here. Yeah. and say, um, or the you know the Colts are at thirty five there too. Tampa so. Bay from fifty. Yeah, I I just don't see them taking not, not a quarterback with their first selection. Yeah, I, yeah. We, yeah, I mean, you could double trade down, I guess. So I'm going to put uh, the Seahawks at 37 to, for, to take Hooker. Okay. You guys got anybody else up here? They got the Texans at 33 taking Quinton Johnston here, and then the Cardinals yeah. taking Jamar Gibbs. I was going to say, I don't hate Gibbs there at 34. Yeah, I don't know what's going to ha- gonna happen in Arizona. It's not a terrible landing spot. It's not Cliff Kingsbury. It's, you know, the weirdest the guy weird ever. Jonathan Gannon. James Conner's probably out of there after this year. Can't can't get rid of him this year, but 
he, he's got like 11 million dead and now yeah. I think 4 million dead the next year. Uh, not that plus he played well when he, when he wasn't, sure, when he wasn't injured, he sure, played well absolutely. last year. He's, he's always played well when he wasn't injured <laughs> every single time. Yeah. Where's Gibbs going though? He's, I could see him going the top part of here. I could see him going anywhere from as high as someone's moving 23. Up. I could, I could, shit, I could see him as high as 21. I don't think they're taking him, but if both tight ends are gone, I guess the Chargers could consider him at 21. Someone's moving up to get him. He and could be one of those guys who goes, he could be pick 30, pick 32 because this draft isn't correct because the Dolphins don't have a first round pick. So. Um, but it won't be to the Steelers. No, right? but I'm saying, but they could move up. But what I'm saying is one of those picks where they take him as the first, the first pick of the second round wouldn't, because they could trade just, up. I mean, could Kansas city take him? That would be, I don't, I don't, as fuck. I don't see that. Ha- I think, I think it's, I think it's, why don't you eat? Cause, cause they just, I think they it's new Orleans. Guys. I think it's new Orleans or, or Cincinnati. If we're going or, or Buffalo, if we're going or, in, or uh, Philly, if they pass on one. It, true. True, he would be interesting, but doesn't seem like a, the best schematic fit for. No, I think they could use more of a more of a a runner. Right, they they haven't shown a whole lot of interest in doing a ton of passing to the running back. Although in the playoffs, Gainwell ticked up a little bit. Um, yeah. as far as pass catching, I mean Miles Sanders caught a handful of passes. He didn't Scott catch gets some nearly yet. Any passes the way he should catch passes. No, um, so still have, probably had to have like well over fifty targets, right? Uh, I don't know, but I'll look it up. He didn't have a lot of catches. I know that. Not not anywhere where where he should. Um, I'm trying to find a landing spot for Gibbs here, and it's not coming easy. So I'll I'll, I'll throw him in at the Cardinals there, where where, where Brugler had him yeah, at thirty four, because yeah. I do believe that he's going. I think he will probably go back into first, early second. Somebody's just going to be interested, trade in. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll check Gibbs off the board here. Uh, we got hooker off the board to the Seahawks. He only had 26 targets last year. Yeah. Um, career, career, low targets. Panthers probably aren't taking a running back. Raiders probably Raiders could take a running back. They could, but, but the saints works. Okay. So where's Josh downs Charbonnet kind of going here. Charbonnet. We could look at him at 41. I don't hate that there with Tennessee. So Tennessee doesn't take Bijan; they take Sharps. Yeah, I like that. Um, they need forty could help. be a forty could be a spot there as the well Saints. too. Um, I think in a couple of mock drafts I saw, I saw the Saints taking Darnell Washington at forty. Mm. Philly did not throw it to the running backs very much. No, <laughs> I know. <laughs> we know. Um, let's I see. want them to though. Downs, where's Downs go, and 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 what what particular spot? I th- I think I think if the Packers don't take a, a a tight end, he's got Luke Musgraves going here at forty five to the Packers. Yeah, I saw that. And then Josh Downs to the Patriots. Um, I mean, Hyatt's probably coming off the board here before Downs, but, right? But we put we put uh we put I personally have uh, a wide receiver going to the Patriots a little earlier than that. Um, so. Yeah. Not downs, but yeah, I mean Hyatt, NFL wise, seems to have Hyatt. Plenty. If he, if he Brugler has him going to New Orleans, and that screams Devery Henderson, Robert Meacham, <laughs> those kind of guys back in the day, just literally yeah. just running wind sprints. That seems like a great fit for New Orleans. And if he goes to New Orleans, I'm probably not giving. I, I I'm pretty much out on Hyatt because he's. Because he's gonna get he's gonna get probably second round draft capital, and to me he's a mid to late second round wide receiver for rookie drafts. So I mean, Hyatt could go in the first round. He could. He could. He. I don't he think probably, he should. He probably. But he probably but, will right. But, but for what reason he didn't he didn't blow up the combine like everyone thought he was going to. Man, he's faster than a. F- I, he, I'm I'm saying Hyatt doesn't go in the first round. I don't think he does. What about the Panthers at 39? Do they need to get their quarterback a weapon here? Or are they just saying, you know, they got rid of DJ Moore. They, they got yeah. Terrence Marshall. They certainly could be. Did they bring in anybody in free Thiel- agency? Thielen. Oh, they brought in Thielen. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Shark. Yeah. They brought so Shark I guess in. they don't have to. 
No, I don't. I mean, they're obviously older guys, but they said they were gonna they were gonna expand Shark's route tree. Shark Shark's very serviceable. Thielen could have something left in the tank, but still, that's tough for your yeah your rookie. Yeah, but he's got he's got veterans there at least. I mean. The Raiders don't necessarily need a pa- they don't need no, a pass catcher. We already catchers. we skipped the Seahawks. Well, the the Seahawks the Raiders the, the, the Seahawks the Raiders the Raiders could be in the market for a tight end. I don't know who they have at tight end, so I wouldn't hate a Darnell Washington, a Musgraves there, a Tyler Croft, any of those guys. Tyler Craft, I don't hate any of those guys there. That that Raiders Saints thirty thirty eight forty tight end position there is, is yeah. nice. That thirty nine Panthers certain. I think that could be a skill position wide receiver. I, I think you're not wrong there. That could. I don't like Hyatt or I don't love Downs. I don't dislike Downs, but I don't love him. Um, so I think. Hear me out. I wouldn't mind Tillman there. Yeah, it does second round Tillman. Yeah, he, Brugler has him going in the second round. It's a it's it's a couple. It's about a little later. 15 picks later, but they don't have a Tillman. In, oh, I guess they have Marshall. But how much do they like Marshall? It goes Saints, Raiders with a tight end, whether it's Washington or Musgraves. Yeah. Here. Um, and then Juwan Johnson's not enough for the Saints. There, they want to. Well, he gets. He's something. not a. He's not a blocker. Neither is Musgraves. That's why I'm saying Washington makes a lot of sense there. I don't know how much of a blocker he is either. But Who? Washington. What? Uh, yeah, why? Because he pushed the sled really good. And no, he drill? have you watched him? He no, crushes I people. Him. I haven't watched. I haven't watched a ton of them. I should say. Okay, I well, have. I have. I have lightly scouted a few games. I don't want to get. Okay. I don't want to get in trouble here. Well, he crushes guys as a blocker. So you've either evaluated these guys or you haven't, Casey. Yeah. Well, I get to a certain point where I'm like, look, as I've done like I've done a decent amount of these guys. Now I just I'm going to wait till they get drafted. Well, Casey, and then maybe gonna, maybe if you haven't scouted these guys, maybe you should check out the Dynasty Dummies Hoot Nanny. Yeah. I've, I definitely will. Uh, <laughs> shout out to you guys. You should, if you haven't watched it or listened to it, you should uh, download it wherever you can find podcasts. I, bl- I believe it's a limited spaces. Limited? I probably it's probably on mm. it's probably on iTunes and mm. I don't know. I'm not in charge of that. I just show up. Not a lot of confidence. Talk there. to talk to Tacit Assassin thirteen on I, on the twitters. I like the idea of the Tennessee Titans potentially taking a running back here, but I, I like. He's got a, an O lineman penciled in. They need O line help. Um, I I could see that for for fantasy purposes. I think any running back that goes there, I I don't hate yeah. necessarily. Um, but you know, for the same reason that we talked about Derrick Henry and Bijan maybe going there, I think you mentioned it a little earlier. Charbs Charbonnet going there could be a nice little fit. Yeah. Um, the Falcons have taken one already. The Jets are. are uh, could the Falcons be in the set. market for a second wide receiver? The, the the Falcons getting a getting like a a downs or a yeah. Hyatt. Yeah. Even a field stretcher. Sure. I don't think downs is a field stretcher. No, 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 no. I I the two different Okay. Two different Slot styles of plays. Or a field right. stretcher. Yeah. That's I don't know how likely that is, but I, I I think it could make some sense there. Yeah, I I I I've hmm, that's interesting. Bruges doesn't have him taking one until the fourth, but I wonder what the accuracy of these mock drafts are. No, we're all the best mock draft in the history. They've got more information than we've got. Obviously, we're having fun here. We're speculating. Look, there's there's a week until the draft. So it's like, what else are we going to put out here? That's not going to die anytime soon. And we're just having some fun here talking through some stuff. This is just a placeholder. People are like, get to the running backs. Well, they're way down here. Um yeah, I think Miami at fifty one. If somehow Gibbs still hangs out, oh yeah, I think that's an automatic Gibbs, or um, unless they have their eye on Dalvin. Yeah, potentially Dalvin Cook in Miami. No, the other Dalvin. Yes, Dalvin Cook. I think this spot right here <laughs> for fifty two for the Seahawks. I think I'm going to pencil Downs in right there. Oh, thank God. Uh, the Dolphins. I think. I think that's. I think that's Charbonnet. At um, where? But to, at at. at in the Miami? Dolphins in Miami, I think that's either Charbonnet um, or I, you know, any one of the other, you know, Evans, Miller, Spears, A Chain. I don't know who they like, but you know, not Roshan. Roshan's going to the Bucks. That's what Brugler has him. Does he? Yep. Next round. Okay. Well, then I'm right on. I'm right on there with with. I think Roshan to the Bucks. Um, I hate that. 
<laughs> I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> <laughs> I like Roshan. I do. I, I I did. I would love Roshan to go to Miami or or San Diego. Here. I don't mind him going to the Bucks. That's that, that's an identity less offense right now. Yeah, but he they could, have another guy establish. they drafted in the second or on, on with a day two pick. Well, so. Analytically, he was hot garbage. So you know, basically saying white that he stinks. Was? Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine. Ro- I can't oh, imagine yeah. they're that high on Roshan either. Well, but he didn't play. They he, love he didn't. He didn't play. Rashad a, coming out. He didn't play a game in the league yet. Ro- Rashad, Rashad did object. last year, and Roshan Johnson. All the charts I see are not good. Roshan Johnson has the highest missed tackles forced per carry per attempt. In power Rashad's five. not freaking in them sheets, huh? No nope. Google nope. sheets. No, nope. he's indeed not. Them Excel sheets. They they're gonna bring somebody else in. I think Roshan to the Bucks makes sense. They brought him in. I I like I like Bijan if he fell there, but uh, in the first round. But I like an offensive lineman as well, so I'll take the Bucks. But I think third roundish for Roshan. Um, the NFL seems to like him a whole lot more than a lot of fantasy people do. Not this guy. <laughs> Not that guy. Um, but yeah, I, I'll take Dolphins taking an RB potentially here. Now they 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 certainly could. Um, I think Dalvin makes. I think if again, I'm sorry, I'm dead, sorry for being a dead horse. Dalvin makes sense for them as a. A veteran that's going to come in right away and just there's no there's no um, learning curve there. He's just. I mean, they like they brought in back everybody so that they they don't have to fuck with running back this year. Yeah, but right? who? Yeah, but who do they really bring back? Raheem Mostert, Jeff Wilson. Yeah, yeah the guys that crushed for them this year. They're old as fuck. Yeah, they're old and injured. Yeah, I I like the idea Salvin of, Ahmed of them. Getting a a, play, a you know a younger playmaker at that position, and they so. still have Miles Gaskin. They have the same exact crew yeah. as they did last year. Ugh. And if two is healthy, they make the playoffs. Last year, yeah, but that, yeah, but if they could upgrade the running back position, but they only have four picks in this draft. You know? Yeah, but what other needs do they really have? He's got him going O tackle here, which is you know whatever. I think the Lions. He's got Darnell Washington plugged in there. I think I could I could. You know, say hey, the Lions could take a tight end there. I also could see the Lions taking another running back. Yeah, saying, I, I've seen them. I've seen mocks of them taking Bijan. I don't th- necessarily agree with that, but yeah, you, that's why you brought in Monty, so you don't have to fuck around. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna I'm for, for this is I'm putting Char Charbonnet to the Dolphins. Let's okay. go. I, I I would like that. Um, yeah, I mean wheels up, and then I'm Giddy gonna. Up. Then, I mean, at that point, would you? At that point, how far? If Charbonnet goes to the Dolphins, how far apart are him and Gibbs at that point? Fantasy wise, yeah, that's still the same for me. It's. I mean, but are they? Tier, are they tier, this, three are, tier? Are they in? The, are they in tier two rather than rather than Gibbs in his own separate tier? No, I got. I got. Um, they're. I, unless Charbonnet falls way for some reason down to the fifth round or that's whatever. That's not happening. Like, I, it's it's. Bijan tier one, Gibbs tier two, Charbonnet tier three, and then. But, but if Charbonnet lands with in the God spot, that's here, what I'm saying. Does here. he jump up to the well, Gibbs tier? No, what he's asking. No. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. No. Okay. I, that's, that's all. I was, and I was answering. I was asking. It. I did, I'm saying that it doesn't. It doesn't you say change. unless he falls really. Unless far. he really falls far, I'm saying it doesn't change. And I don't care. It doesn't matter if he lands here, there, any. He'd have to fall really far down to to really okay. change. And there's anything. nowhere you could go to move him up no. into the Gibbs tier. No, absolutely not. I don't think so either. I would, that's why I was just asking. I'm going to go Chargers. We got I penciled down into the Seahawks, but Downs could certainly be a Charger here in the Ugh. second round. But since they didn't take uh, a running back in the first round, I eh, will skip the Chargers again for now. They're 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 going to go running back a little later. They're not going to invest high. Could they go with a back. wide receiver? That's what I was saying. Downs. Uh, we kind of penciled Hyatt in a little higher up here because the NFL likes him to to the, to the likings of the Panthers or a Saints. You know, so I, I don't really love that, but who who would be a a, a receiver that you would like to see uh, them take here? I wouldn't hate Mingo. I wouldn't hate Mims. Yeah, um, see, Mingo is one that I've again I've I have watched, but I have not completed because he was not super highly ranked coming into this, and he has moved up. And yeah. it's like I get to a certain point where the I just with, stop watching. Yeah, and I wait until the draft happens. The and thing then I with go, the thing with Mingo is he shows a lot of things that are that you like but then he shows a lot of things that you don't like so i think with him it's projecting what he can be instead of what he has been yeah which i guess that's the whole point of being a right being being in in the nfl draft room but 
I mean, he shows a lot of things that show you, hey, maybe I don't think he's A.J. Brown, but can he be 80 to 85% of what A.J. Brown is? Sure. I think there's a lot of tools there that, that show you that. I just don't know if he's – I think he might be more 70 to 75% of A.J. Brown rather than 85 to 90 yeah, I mean he's uh, these bigger these bigger receivers have seemed to be climbing up the the ranks. Well, it says you don't have a ton of them in this right, draft, right? Right, and so that's been interesting of late here. Um, Mims to the Chargers would be pretty exciting. Th- they don't have it. I mean, they have Palmer. He's but like a geeked up Palmer, right? Yeah, I, mean, I guess Palmer's kind of thick. I well, mean, Palmer's I'll, not I'll, that I'll small. I'll give uh, Mims the Chargers. Yeah, I, I like, like that. that. I like that for the Chargers and Mims. Yeah, I, I mean, like I love that for Mims. Mingo again, got to go back and watch. I hate but the Chargers, but if they grab skill position players, I guess I'm in. <laughs> and and you can hear your take on Mingo on the uh, dummies. Is, is it horse hockey? Yes. <laughs> what is it called? The rookie hoot nanny. Horse hooey. The rookie hoot nanny. The rookie no horse hoot involved. Nanny. Okay. Yeah. No horse play. Right. No horsing around. Rookie Horton. Featuring starring Bojack Horseman. No tail. No grabbing tail. Rookie whorehouse on Dynasty. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Uh, J. Mike's going to list this and just shake his head. <laughs> J. M- I told J. Mike to put it in the Discord a while ago, and he never did. Um, I put it in there. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm f- promote away. You should go check out the I Dynasty. I hate self-promotion. You should go check out the Dynasty Hoot Nanny. The Dynasty Dummies Rookie Hoot Nanny. What a, it's, it's, all right. There, full title. And where are we at here? Chargers? Uh, we're at a Hoot Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have do we have the what do we have the Lions on here at fifty five? I mean, they need a tight end. I penciled him in for a tight end a little earlier. I, I gave him he, he had Washington. I went with Washington because I don't have him anywhere. Okay. But but we also kind of penciled a, a tight end potentially at the Saints Raiders area here. So we we for me personally again I did Mayer and Kincaid and then did a little Washington and then went no further with the tight ends because I just didn't I am aware of these guys but I don't really know anything about them. So we'll we'll check Washington off and we'll check Musgrave off here for you know the Lions and, the and one of the Raiders. What's the, the Bengals? Is I think they just re-signed. Yeah, um, uh, uh, they picked up Irv Smith, baby. Oh, that's right, Irv. I think they just re-signed um, uh, the uh, the other guy too was injured last year. But uh, Drew Sample. Drew Sample. Bust. Oh. Bust. Uh, he was hurt last year. All right, so. He had Ooh. one game where he caught like nine balls. That was it. Yeah, I think he got hurt the next game. No, nah, he played that whole year. He was never good again. <laughs> who else? Who else do you think could uh, could go here in the second round? Uh, Kansas City maybe taking on the wide receiver here at sixty three. Yeah, they're real bummed that Mims just went to. Uh, yeah, they are the Chargers. Yeah, he's got him taking Tyler Scott. I have not watched Tyler have Scott not at all. Tyler Scott. Nope, I haven't. He's either. anything like Michael Scott. So if he goes, then he should be a first round pick. <laughs> um, World's best wide receiver. Yeah. I mean, what are we talking about here? <laughs> um, I mean, but, I wouldn't hate Mingo there to the, the Chiefs either. And if, That's kind of something they don't really have. If the Cowboys don't take <clears throat> Bijan for some reason and the Miami Dolphins don't take Charbonnet, I think Charbonnet to the Cowboys is great. Mm-hmm. And then I think for this intents and purposes, I'm, I'm penciling in Kendra Miller, probably maybe not in the second round here. I'm going Kendra Miller to the Cowboys staying in Texas. What do you think about that? I don't hate Kendra. A little bit bigger of a back there. Yeah. People would probably love that for Pollard. And maybe I think, not I think, I think giving Kendra Charbonnet, if, if not going to the Dolphins, because again, they, they've, they've been, they, he comes from a scheme that wasn't high on running backs either that, Signs a bunch of cheaper guys. Maybe mm-hmm. they don't do anything. I think Charbonnet to the Cowboys at 58 is a no-brainer if they don't have uh, somebody there. And then your boy Cedric Tillman to the Bills here. Who earlier did you pencil Tillman into a little? Give Tillman a little I love. sent them to Carolina at 39. All right. But I think that makes a lot of sense. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think, again, Tillman getting some love being that bigger-bodied receiver mm-hmm. there. Mingo, um, Mingo 59. There you go. There is another one. They don't really have. I mean, he's six two. I mean, they have Davis, but he's not the same player as Davis. Yeah. Interesting. All right, let's let's try to find a landing spot for some more of these running backs. He's got Charbonnet at sixty here at the Bengals. Oh, um, that's a sm- that's a smash. That's a smash. Because at that point, that that just tells me they're they're releasing Joe Mixon. I think the Bengals are going to be hot and heavy on a on a on a 
running back at some point. Oh, I don't know if it'll be in. They, the, I would love if they take. I don't Ro- know if it'll be in the second round. Oh, if they could take Roshan in the third. I'm gonna. Oh I'm gonna God. give. I'm gonna give the Bengals. Zach Evans at the end of the second round here. Okay. Where does he? He got Zach Evans in the fourth. Yeah. Well, I mean, you think your boy Zach's getting second round capital? Let's go. That would be good for charge for the, the game, baby. Times. I think maybe I think a more likely option is that they make mix and take a pay cut. And they take a chain. Mm. All right, so you are saying pay cut for mixing a chain. I could see it. Yeah, I think a chain makes more sense as a complimentary back for sure. To see what he has there with Mixon. To see if he can carry more than just being a complimentary back, but I mean, he did it in the SEC, so sure. We haven't seen that that small of running back carry that kind of load, though. Right. It's it's to me, it's the right coach and the right system well, Mixon using has, him correctly. Mixon it's, has two more years left on his deal, which at like nine and a half million a year. Yeah. So the pay cut would keep him there through twenty four. I don't know. I don't, I don't they, know how that works. Because then do they take A-Chain, who wouldn't be able to replace Mixon if Mixon was gone? Correct. Or do they take another guy that or, could replace Mixon? But Mixon's how many guys are really replacing Mixon at, the, at this point? You already gave up Zach Evans? I gave Zach Evans to the Bengals. Oh, well, Zach Evans. Yeah, I mean, I think I think Kendry Miller could. Yeah, sure. I think Which Evans. Gone. You gave yeah, Miller. Well, I, I'm, I, I'm going to give uh, Kendra to the uh, Cowboys in the third round here. I, okay, Kendra. I think Kendra could. I'm um, Kendra, um, Zach Evans, Roshan, maybe even a Banacanda as well too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, I want so Denver. I want Denver to take a chain. I think we're gonna get a, f- a flurry of running backs in the second and third rounds here. Um, yeah, I think round three we're gonna see a bunch come off the board. I think Bears. They could Texans. take a running back. In Bears, I don't know one. why the why the Bears are so hot and yeah. people think they're hot and heavy to take a running back. I I don't I don't get that. I mean, so so. Uh, your boy, he's gonna be the workhorse there. Who I think for a season you got who's four, my boy? You got Foreman and Herbert, and you're fine. Herbert. I would uh, if if you if you're telling me you I can could get take a discount, fifth rounder. Yeah, if you're telling me I can get discount Herbert right now, sign me up. No, but like to be like if the Bears aren't taking a guy here. Oh, I don't think that I wouldn't take one if I were them. You got you they got also have sixty four. So they have sixty right. one and sixty four. The first for pick in the third round. First pick in the third round. We're in the third round right now. Bears, Texans, Cardinals. I don't think any of them take a running back. And then we get to the Broncos here. Yeah, I think the Broncos are Broncos have been trendy for a chain. Mm. Yeah, or I, maybe Tajay. I think I think Miller or Spears makes some sense for them. Apparently, could. Apparently they're um, uh, what's his face. Sean Payton didn't have glowing things to say about Dulcich either. They could be a spot for a for a tight end like a Laporta or a Kraft here as well too. Sean Payton was talking shit about Dulcich. He wasn't talking shit, but he wasn't obviously saying things that were glowing about him. Yeah, that's interesting. I like not I'll, even his hair. I like the uh, the upside <laughs> of Miller's catch. The upside of Miller's uh, receiving ability. To potentially catch the eye of 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 Sean Payton here, and yeah. the, the build is solid. Or Bigsby as well too. Right, I I, I really like Bigsby, uh, but I, I'm gonna push him down a little bit here. Uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm gonna give has a Brugler has him going in the third. I'm gonna give the Broncos. I'm gonna give the Broncos Spears. Mm. I don't like that. We'll see who fire the, him up. We'll see who the medical issue is on, but I'm pretty sure it's Sean Tucker. Um, it could be could be Kendra, it could be Spears. I don't know. Um, yeah, he, he, there's he, a, 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 a smoke screen random on who on the, we don't, they don't know. Well, what are you talking about? They, there's a, there's a running back who's going to fall because of bad medicals. Yeah. It's Tucker. Uh, they didn't say who it was. It's Tucker. You sure it's Tucker? Yes. He, he had a medical recheck from the combine. Yeah. I just, I don't, Kendrick I, Miller hasn't done anything either. And Spears mm. has had two ACLs, So I don't, you know, I don't, yeah, know. I think it's Tucker. Um, well, I think and we shall we shall see. Uh, it seems like it is Tucker. You're correct, uh, but you don't like Spears to the Broncos. He, you don't like Spears. I, he just seems like a satellite sure back. Don't like Spears. He's <laughs> <laughs> he just seems like a he just seems like a satellite back for me that can give you a, a touch more. 
Yeah, I think that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Sign yeah. me up. But that but at what point is but at what point is I don't know if I really want him for fantasy purposes then. It makes more sense for the Broncos than it does for fantasy purposes. Who See, better I, to put a satellite plus guy with than Sean Payton? Yeah, but he still has Javante who can cast patches. Well, Samaja who can gotta, catch you patches. You think that catch that, passes. You got to think that I, it doesn't seem like Javante is coming into this year playing. Cash they, patches. They just I said like today that. that he would. They were gonna. At that some point he'll be back. But we don't know when. Sure. Exactly. Sure. Mm. But it was a little bit of a of a of a. It was a bad injury, and it was what? When was it? Week six, seven? Yeah, something like that. So that's a year to that date, and then yeah. you know. So I I think. But Plus we're talking about. Back right. But we're talking about a guy who was was a top three or four round startup pick at this time sure, last year. Sure, but so what? You 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 I you take those knee ligaments. He doesn't. It's a bad injury. It's it's he's ligaments. not. He's also not part of you know that what, regime that regime necessarily. And if he doesn't if he doesn't come out for the first let's say half a season really and and really play and then, and then it's still going to take him a minute to get. Agreed. I think I think Williams is a play for twenty twenty four. They need somebody to come in here. And, and Spears and I, can give them a think, little bit more. I think P Ryan was a nice play for them. Yeah. Um. Samaj. I think hey, the ricochet romance. I think spe- between Spears and 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 uh, Samaj and Samaje, you could get it done. I think Kendra probably gives you a little bit. Agreed. More flexibility of, of, of more anything. Flexibility between those two backs. Yeah. If you if you know that you're going to be without Javante for a little while. Um, yeah. You know, a, a chain. I guess with P Ryan and a chain, you could you could get it done. I just I know that's been the trendy spot for him. I, I don't really like it all that. I much. think it makes more like sense the, from a thunder and lightning kind of perspective. I like the idea of of how Sean Payton could you knowing how to trusting him to use a chain in a proper manner yeah with uh, some of these done it with uh, i mean uh, just just, just i've just seen him he just understands yeah how to use reggie that Bush. position with different skill sets um although you know you could, you could also say that you know what was he doing with mark ingram pretty sure that mark ingram was having sex with sean payton's wife but <laughs> <laughs> he definitely was that the, that usage was wild yeah <laughs> but um yeah so i I'll, i'm gonna i'm throwing spears there I, I don't know if that'll happen um a chain there uh what do you 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 like a chain there you like a chain there yeah i, I think a chain makes sense there from a chain or perspective sp- or spears i'm good with or yeah, Kendry. i mean any running back that goes Kendry to the would be awesome there I'm 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 in on. So Rams pass on this one on a running back. I don't know. I just because everyone's they saying have like Akers and 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 uh, Kyron, right? Yeah, it's like it. Well, they have the other guy that they had last year as well too. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now, but that undrafted guy um, who came in and did a little something. Um, but I mean, the Rams can be a popular. I just they just have so many holes. They literally have. I was I saw a tweet today from the from the Rams Bleacher Report account, and they're paying more to um, players that they don't have. They're playing twice as much to players that they don't have on the defensive side than players they currently have rostered. Mm. They're just have so many holes at corner Worth at it though, safety. Huh? Got that championship. Exactly. It's 100% worth it. You got it. that championship. Exactly. Got yeah. that champ. Thank you. I There's just so need somebody to say that shit. So many holes that they have on the defensive side of the ball, on the offensive line, that running back seems like a luxury pick that they can't afford to make. Or maybe it's a pick that they need to make because that's what they're going to be doing a lot of. But staff but Round running? and pound, baby. But with, with what offensive line? They literally have... They're going to be yeah. behind. Yeah. I'm just I'm, I don't really know exactly what to say to do with the Rams. It seems, I mean, it, I mean, it's it, popular that they have been taking running backs in these drafts in one way, shape or form. If you want to give them a running back on day three, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, uh, I just don't see it as a as a as a, when you're picking a guy in the third round, you're expecting him to be a starter within the first year or so. I think Akers showed you enough down the stretch that you should be, be trusting in him to be able to be. Not the guy, but your lead guy going into next year. Yeah, I, I I like the idea of 
of acres buying acres right now uh, and just him being healthy and back i think he can grind it out he was really good at the end of last season uh, I don't think you need to spend the third round capital here, and I probably wouldn't. So no. I, I agree with you. I could see them taking. They have. They, they have, don't have a ton of picks, right? They do have a ton of picks. Later but picks. They have. They have three fifths, three sixths, and two sevenths. Yeah. It makes it makes way more sense to me to I, take a running back in the fifth or the sixth than it does for me to take them one in the third. Agreed. Agreed. Fuck it. Take Sean Tucker in the sixth or in the fifth or sixth there. It, yeah. That way, if the medicals check or, out and he and he can stay healthy, then you have a great com- then you have a great um, complement to Acres there, or even someone who can be a a one B rather than a two. Yeah, that makes way more sense to me than taking Tank Bigsby here in the third round. Yeah, I I, uh, I think that that that's a good good point. Um, I know that's why I said it. Yeah. I think the Titans here with the Mingo pick from here, I really like that. I think that's I think that he seems like a fit for for what the Titans would be. It, it just do. seems redundant to the Burks. It, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Fair enough. Uh, but I, you know who I wouldn't hate to the Titans is fucking Jalen Hyatt. Well, I haven't I haven't put Tillman anywhere, so I'll put Tillman to the I'll put Tillman to the. the I thought Titans we already had here. Tillman. You had Tillman. I I didn't have Tillman. Going oh, okay. Anywhere. So we're just going off yours picks. Great. I'm I'm saying what I think, and then you guys are saying what you think. I just I I, I got my own checklist here. I'm checking guys. Tillman's off. been gone for an hour yeah. and a half. Tillman. He went could, at like pick one. I think could be here. in the yeah, second exactly. round for sure. <laughs> I think that. Panthers traded up to get him. <laughs> I like I like the Titans taking Tillman in the third. That's nice. He's got Tajay to this to the Texans there. Um, uh, Honestly, if if Spears goes to the Texans, I wouldn't mind buying some Damian Pierce. Hmm. I, I I hate it for both of them there. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm not a big Spears guy. Yeah, I, I like Spears. You don't like bit. Spears? Oh, we just went over this. <laughs> Spears is awesome. That's fine. Spears is awesome. All right. So um, if a band of Canada goes to Texan, the Texans, then I'm not buying any Damien Pierce. So you, you're a band of Canada over Spears guy over there. Yeah. Mm. Um, Which the band of Canada pick here, if he goes to where Brugler has him, it's fucking wheels up. I think the Texans... Uh, they they took we I got to take a JSN in the first round. I think we're passing on a running back here. Um, I think. Do they that, circle? Do they take a long term tight end solution here? I mean, they only signed Schultz to a one year contract. Yeah. They I'm could. just spitballing at this point. They certainly could. Um, they they could they could take a Laporta or a a craft a, a craft or a Shoemaker. Um, but certainly not Coons. Doesn't seem like Coons. Um, let's see here. Uh, the Colts. The Colts probably need a wide receiver. Um, yeah, he has. He has. I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna p- pencil in uh, Rashi Rice to the Colts. What do you think about that? I think or is that Rodgers seems to, a little bit redundant. I think that makes sense if they think that they could lose Pittman. Mm-hmm. They think they're gonna lose Pittman. I mean, is, they're not gonna pay him. I don't know. You got to pay Pittman. I mean, I'd pay Pittman, but I mean, I'm also buying Pittman in Dynasty, so. He's a good buy. Brugler has Mims going to the Colts, and I would love that. Yeah, but I already had Mims off the board, so. Yeah. I don't think I'd like, I don't, I don't the Colts, who's going to support all these guys? It's I, I don't want someone I like going to all the Colts All of what here, guys? Like, they have one guy. And Alec Pierce? I don't care. I, I, yeah. I, I think nah, I'm Pierce, is about a, Pierce. Pierce is a flex play. Yeah, maybe he develops into something, but I'll, I'll I'll take another shot on a receiver. I don't hate a guy like a Tank Dell, maybe a a, a slot receiver there. T. Y. Hilton, rep- yeah, replacement. Um, I like Xavier Hutchinson, but you know he's probably a little bit more like Pittman. Yeah, him and Rice are similar players. Um, I really like Xavier Hutchinson. This though, is so. Pittman's last year of his deal, so I, they didn't I, have to fish or cut bait here. I guess. I know. Um. Let's see. We well, didn't say that. I didn't know. Maybe this was. Maybe they had another year with him. Bucks oh, taking okay. Roshan. I'll pencil that right in. I like that a lot. Um, and then down here, uh, Chargers at eighty-five. They take a chain. 
Yeah, I think, I think again, if you could you could plug a chain into a little bit of an Eckler type role, Herbert will throw it to him. Yeah, and, and I think I think a chain to the Chargers late third. I think I'd prefer. Actually, I'm I'm not as high on him, but I think I'd prefer Bigsby to the Chargers. I don't hate that either. It just gives it's a lot different than what they're working with right now, as far as Eckler. Talking about you talking about a chain. I'm saying Bigsby, Bigsby to how, what they're how they're operating with the running back position currently. I think. You think Bigsby's different than what they have now? Right. Hmm. Okay. Like just then the way they operate with Eckler. I think they're similar ish. Hmm. I don't think I'm no, 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 no. That's not me comparing Bigsby to Eckler. I think they have similar skill sets. I think that that Tank's receiving game is vastly underrated and he's really couldn't could be a solid three down back so if the chargers took bigsby i'd be in the third round i'd be fucking stoked yeah um i would also be fine with the chargers passing on charbonnet and or the dolphins passing on charbonnet and and getting maybe tank bigsby in the in the third round here that would be fine as well um i like any of those landing spots uh but i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll i'm gonna go a chain to the chargers and you're gonna go bigsby to the chargers yeah all right um you know i i think i think um I know that they have uh, the Ravens have uh, Dobbins, but how much longer is Dobbins under contract? They're not scared to have two running backs. Yeah, over there. he's been dinged up as well. The Ravens too. could take a third, fourth round running yeah, back. Yeah, it's it's it's. I don't know. I don't think Kendra Miller makes it this far if his health is right. Um, the Gi- he has Gi- the Giants penciled in taking him at eighty nine, but I think I- I'd like to see the Cowboys get Kendra at ninety here. He's in a contract um, year, Dobbins. Yeah. I mean, do we have the Bills taking a running back yet? They don't have much. Nah, I think I think the Bills Tank, do not need a running back. I think Tank Bigsby to the right? to the Ravens would be a nice fit. That'd what do you mean fun. the Bills don't need a running back? They definitely need a running back. Do they? They got Hines, they got Cook, and then they signed Damian Harris. They don't need shit. Damian Harris on a one year deal, I think. Yeah. Um Vikings potentially a Banacanda. What do you think about that? I, I honestly, if we haven't had him penciled in yet, I think Tank Dell makes sense to the Vikings as well too as a slot receiver because they need a slot receiver. They have nothing after Jefferson. I think Hutchinson to the Vikings is a fucking knock out of the park. As a more of a possession guy, I mean, I I think he's. I think you need someone who's going to play more in the slot than within. Oh, uh, he can he can play the slot. Yeah, he can he can give you both. I don't know. I I'd rather have can, more of a. I think you can find a, a dedicated slot guy if you really need him. Like you can find that guy. Just pretty, the way you're saying, just take Charlie easily. Jones. Just in general, like I just feel like that's an easier player to find than mm. Hutchinson, who's can kind of do everything for you a little bit, but he can he can do that intermediate and short stuff uh, really well. Like he's super fucking quick. I don't and hate big. it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, I, I'm just trying to get Hutchinson in this third round here because I, I really like him. Um, and then how about Boutte? You think he's, uh, he could be, I saw I Angelo think, talking about him today, anywhere from the second to a priority undrafted free agent. I don't think he goes undrafted. It's uh, a solid range there. Yeah. Why don't you say the first and just say he can go anywhere? Yo, like here at 89 to the Giants, to the, I feel like Boutte wouldn't be. Yeah. He could know, go to the Giants. He could go Bills. to the Bills. Lots of good sex he parties could, in New York. He could go to the Panthers. What about a band of Canada, the Bengals here in the third? Don't hate it. A band of Canada? Yeah. To the Panthers? Yeah. To the, no, to the, to, Bengals. The, to the Bengals. Oh, Bengals. Wrong, He's got them taking Jaden Reed here, the, pe- the Panthers. Hate, hate, Panthers. It. hate the it. The Panthers are taking Jaden Reed. Hate it. I said the Bengals. You don't like that? No. For any of her. You don't for like Reed Jayden, or the. You don't no. Like Reed? No. I can't say I'm well versed in the Reed. Um, but then he's got a band of Canada here at the Eagles. Oh, my gosh. That would just be. Did that, Walvin have Reed in there as a sleeper? A Banacanda makes some sense for the Eagles. Yeah. I think that fits in there pretty well. He's got a little movement. <laughs> he said that earlier tonight, right? What? He said if Banacanda goes where Brugler has him. Yeah, wheels up. The Eagles. Yeah. Wheels up is the uh, airplane taking off? Ain't indeed. Just took off. And then you put the wheels up. Cardinals at 90. I feel like the Cardinals probably could take a receiver here. Yeah, at, the at Cardinals 66. at nine. I think I think a sixty six. The Bills or, at the Bills at ninety one. The Cardinals at ninety three. The Chiefs at ninety five. The the Cardinals at ninety six could be in play for a Boutte type player or a Hutchinson type player. I love the idea of the Niners getting Mingo or Hutchinson. Love that. 
as a kind of just a as a play for possibly losing Ayuk. Yeah, I think you, you're probably gonna lose Ayuk next year, and I think that those guys would fit kind of right into what they're doing. Do you good, think they're gonna trade block. Ayuk this year? No, I, I think you're gonna ride that out. Well, right. the Gi- Giants have three or four picks here in a row. Something tells me the Giants are kind of probably move back with one of those picks or move up. But I, I like the yeah, idea. I like the uh, the idea of of a banner candidate to the to the. Vikings or or a band of Canada the uh, Eagles a, there. a band of Canada the Vikings or Eagles would be awesome makes a lot of sense there I mean who else I mean who else who do else we, y'all want to see go where yeah let's let's kind of wrap this thing up who's your favorite players that haven't gone somewhere yet well Chase Brown to me to I think needs to go somewhere I think I think he, he had him to the Bears a little later which I think that would be day a nice five. A nice pick it's fine a nice day five I don't think there's a day five round five. round five <laughs> day five. Yeah, that's M- called a UDFA. <laughs> Matt said gross to the uh, Chase Browns. Yeah. He doesn't like Chase. I don't like Chase Brown. I like it a Chase. Uh, I think Chase Brown will give the Bears something different than what they have there right now, so that wouldn't be a, a, a worst pick for them kind of later. Um, One of the picks he has is Kenny McIntosh to the, to, the, to the Patriots, and that literally seems like they're just drafting Pierre Strong 2.0. Actually, a worse version of Pierre Strong. Then Dwayne McBride. I feel like the Eagles taking Dwayne McBride wouldn't be a bad shot if you if they if they wait a little wait another. I don't exactly it, McBride's a, just a chasm to me because I don't. I really, haven't watched him a whole lot, so I'm. I think he's a good player. I just it seems like the he, NFL. He's has, not going to catch the ball at all. Well, I mean, we don't know that. Just because he has, he's him. probably not going to catch the ball. I don't accept that, uh, but uh, he hasn't caught the ball at all. I don't think that means he's incapable of catching. That's why I said he's probably not. Um, Did you say the same thing about Kenneth Walker? But, which is also why I don't mind him going to the Eagles, because if you're not going to throw it to him, he's a guy, he's a good And they have runner. other guys who can catch the ball there right. already. He's a good pure they runner. They don't throw it to them either. But it's <laughs> same with the Banacanda, like not 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 the, the biggest catcher, um, but not the worst at it. But I think he's, you know, th- those guys would be nice fits there. Uh, yeah. I, but it seems like the NFL... People personnel wise, McBride's been steadily in the mouths of a lot Todd of people. McShay, I mean, uh, Mel Kiper. a little higher than I think anybody in the fantasy space really has him. So, yeah, not really sure where he's going to go, but you know, feels like it could be anywhere from the third to the fifth. Um, yeah, um, I'm interested to see where Boutte goes. If he can get that day two capital, I mean, I have him in that. I have him in my pre-draft you know people gotta say you gotta have your pre-draft rank your pre-draft tiers i have him in that in that third tier people say you have to have those well yeah because 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 everything changes once you have draft capital something so why would you have them before then because it's all based off film or analytics or a combination any other quarterbacks you guys see going that you don't care taking no no i'm interested a little stits have been not gonna lie and a little steady Benny. Yo, he's definitely the reason they won some games, and they have a great team. And he he they they should have lost some games, and he made sure they didn't. And he I think put some dudes on skates. Only other guy I'm interested to see where they go is DTR. Yeah, agreed. I mean, yeah, sure. That's DTR. I don't mind Stetson Bennett. I mean, just to see what's going on, the mailman. They're tailing, They're saying the Ravens are going to grab him just in case. That's like, who Brugler has. Him. That's right. who Brugler has him taking in the sixth or yeah. in the sixth round. Yeah. Aiden O'Connor getting Aiden O'Connell oh. getting a little more love than I. You know, talk I, about your all time. I mean, him and Jimmy G are the same person, just all time game managers. Then sign me up. I mean, is he anywhere nearly as handsome? Because no, he's, no. Not, he's uh, also probably the same age as Jimmy G at he's this a little point. Older. Can't win with an ugly quarterback. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't hate. Dugan either. He seems like a gamer. Uh, like, yeah, Dugan's interesting. Yeah. Got some wheels. He's a gamer. Gamer. I don't know anything about Not Charlie like the Jones. Kyler, where did Charlie Murray Jones go? I know he's from Purdue, but like, where did he come from? Why is he all of a sudden? I feel like all of a sudden I'm just hearing a lot of Because he caught like 100 balls last year. Okay. All right. Anybody else? You liked Eric Gray. I I, I haven't. Oh, yeah. I haven't um, gotten in on Eric Gray. The, uh, Brugler much. has the Chargers taking him. Mm-hmm. And. Shout out to um, uh, people in the Discord chat who just keep telling me, who keep saying about things that don't involve with actually watching the player. He stinks and they hate him. Yeah, even though he said the person in the Discord, I'm not going to mention their name because they've been hitting me up about joining a league here recently. And they kept saying, did you see his combine stats? And he literally all he did at the combine was the broad jump and the vertical. And that was it. Was it not good, though? 
It was fine. It wasn't great, but he he, he vert think, he vert jumped like thirty six inches. Mm, it's not forty. I don't care. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't need to be forty if you're not playing basketball. But I mean, forty is pretty ridiculous. Thirty six. I mean, I can't do it. I can see. I can see Gray getting. <laughs> I can see Gray getting date. I uh, mean, around three pick. Yeah, he's got him in four. Yeah. Yeah. I I think Gray's five to six probably. Nah, he's three four. Oof. I'll go pie to the face. Isn't on he that. slow? <laughs> oh, pie to the face. Oh, <laughs> we got some pies to the face. We need to get Al, or we just fucking do the whipped cream thing, okay? Don't and be worry. done with it. I'll, I t- you guys don't worry about where the fucking pies are coming from. Jesus Christ. Well, uh, I can mine to, be? A, can mine gotta, see this? Pie. Can mine be a Publix got, key lime pie? Everybody will see that. Well, it can't be any citrus. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's gonna burn <laughs> the hell. Good point. Good point. <laughs> If I ever take a pie to the face, we're not wasting a good pie. Don't worry about them. You do, you do whatever the hell pie you want. How about do. Casey? How about we bring in a shoe fly pie? Oh, that'd be a little wet bottom shoe fly pie. That's a northern thing. I don't. Oh know yeah, like. oh yeah. Shoe fly pie don't bother me, pal. <laughs> you never That's had a shoe a fly song. pie? It, I didn't know it was a shoe fly pie. Don't yeah, bother me. Shoe fly pie. You a wet bottom or dry bottom guy? I like a wet bottom. I do like wet bottom as well too. I mean, nobody wants a dry bottom. I don't. <laughs> Unless, you know, we're running. Or My grandmother always had shoe fly pies. The fuck are y'all talking about? It's a, it's a Pennsylvania Dutch thing. Yeah. What's the wet bottom versus a dry bottom? It is exactly what it sounds, what like. sounds like. Yeah. Of the pie? Yeah. Yeah. There's like a, like a, there's like a little syrupy thing on the bottom. I prefer syrup. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, fuck A.T. Perry. Ooh. No. And I, I don't. <laughs> Care. I watched a little bit of him, but it just like it's. it's I hate, I it's cannot. Watch I that. know that offense makes me want to scratch my eyes out. But he seems to be there's a lot. There's a lot of fluctuation with At Perry. People are either like wide receiver like seven or don't draft him. Shout out Parker Washington to my Rams. All right, like, subscribe, Ram comment below. In. Not after this one. We get unsubscribed after this one. People fucking but. love this one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> They're like, oh my god, where's your favorite fucking landing spot? I'm putting this as the worst episode we've ever done. It's definitely the most useless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going worst. I don't know if it was the worst. We've done some bad shows. <laughs> Hit me with a five-star review anyway. You know, you know, just help your boys out. Tap it in. We need too good for your home. Appreciate y'all for joining us. Matt, you did a great else? job, though. Well, you guys really brought it. It's already been brought in. I can't wait for the draft. This was some dumb shit, but the draft's going to be a lot of fun. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Appreciate yeah, y'all. Check us out on the Patreons. They're, they're on the come up. Five dollars. Oh. Shirts, shirts, shirts. We'll People do, been uh, hopping in. People gonna, been hopping in. It's been gonna, nice. It's been a minute. Gonna have a we hangout. Pushing it. Hang out with uh, some of the boys on Thursday at, at, with with Big D in charge. Shout out to Big D again. Oh. And then on Friday we'll uh, we'll take the reins. Do a little. Uh, Friday night. Yeah, we're we're, we're gonna we, we're, we're in control of the hangout. Let's talk Friday about night. that after show here. Right. A Patreon Friday night. Yeah. We gotta figure out a Sunday drop. I'm not worried about that right now. That's, that's easy. Easy. Yeah, you got so much information Immediate to talk about. Combine reactions. <laughs> yeah. That's Actually, easy. it's a little bit delayed if it's Sunday, but I'm gonna be mad about somebody. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Roshan Johnson. Kendra. Kendra. Kendra and Miller. Kendra Don't and Miller. You talk about my boys and Bigsby. That's who I want. And Spears. Evans. Evans, sorry. Yeah. Yep. Zach Evans, baby. Let's go. Wheels up. Zach Evans getting drafted before Eric Gray? Yeah, no pie to the face on that <laughs> He's sick. All right. Yeah. We'll see you, you next You got to choose your spots with the pie to the face. Appreciate y'all for joining whatever. us. Who cares? It's a pie. I got a shower. Peace. You gotta choose your spots with a pie to the face. Well, let me see a pie to the face already. <laughs>